Okay, so hello YouTube. Um, this is the third time and attempt that I've tried to make this video. Um, my camera at the moment is being held together with lots of tape and an elastic band. Um, somehow it broke from probably my extreme photography. But there we go. So, yeah, what I've been doing recently is my Free Heresy Ultramarines, as you guys probably know and are hopefully following. Um, so if you've been looking at other people's comments and watching my videos, you'll know I'll have been, I've been asking people what they want to see next for this, because I really want you guys to have an impact on it. Um, and I have every intention of doing that. But this time, um, rather than going with the Terminators everyone said about, I went with the Assault Marines. The only reason for that being is that I had them ready to do and my terminators weren't ready. I found out actually they needed to be pinned. They just kept falling to pieces. So they're now pinned and they've they've been base coated and washed so they're ready to go. Um, but it's just um, my assault marines are finished. I thought you guys might appreciate seeing something even if it's not exactly what you asked for. Um, so come on down. I'll show you what we've got going. So here they are. Well, there they are. Um, so we've got a sergeant and then four normal guys okay so this is the first five for my thousand points because the way we're doing our campaign is that um, you start off with a thousand points you play a series of games against the Xenos and um, and then through those games which you win or lose or draw or even you get a certain amount of points um, which you then get to spend on your army so I haven't started it yet <clears throat> so I've only got a thousand points and my leader Marius Gage who's fallen over um, yeah. and then beyond that you can just start adding to it so I've gone for smaller units for example the tactical marine squads I'm actually allowed 20 because it's a pre-heresy army and the assault marines I'm allowed 10 um, but only one unit in my army of assault marines can have jump packs the rest have to have um, either nothing or um, jump shoots or whatever they're called what the Elysian drop troops have um, so they don't just land flat on the ground but yes yeah, so we've got all of these which I'm rather proud of quite pleased with them um, they're very basically painted I haven't highlighted the blue but I've highlighted everything damn else um, but yeah so I'll run you through some of the parts so for example my sergeant will focus now yeah so he's he is a games workshop space marine normal one normal assault marine um, but as you can see in the light his chest I've dremeled off the eagle because there were no kind of eagle insignia on the pre heresy things um, the shoulder pad and the helmet is from chapter house the um, loincloth is from anvil industries and the and the jump pack is from Max Mini. Now the Max Mini ones are nice, but I understand the Forge World ones are probably much nicer. Um, the sculptor really hasn't considered how to mould these. Um, either that or the moulding guys haven't discussed how to mould them with the sculptor. Because there were a lot of kind of crusty bits where there were voids in the mould and they're probably having to pull bits out kind of quite roughly but I've managed to clean most of it up. I've still got the pipes to paint on them because it looks a bit lazy at the moment just being blue and um, I've done burn marks around the um, bottoms of those just to make it look a bit more um, burnt and stuff. I haven't gone with pre-heresy um, bolt guns, I've just gone for normal bolt guns just for ease and speed um, plus I don't think they look that different, they're a bit bulkier in fact um, so I think they're okay and the plasma pistol as well with the coil I haven't really tried that hard on it but I think it looks okay um, again yeah these have got some freehand on them um, it's not particularly great I think I might cover it up and put a transfer on there um, all these U symbols mm, I'm not particularly pleased with but again you guys give me feedback do you prefer these or do you reckon transfers would look nicer if I do them like I did say on this you know where that looks much neater do you think these would benefit from having those transfers on them or do you think I should just leave it 
Um, I don't mind spending the time on it, it'll only take me five minutes and I quite enjoy applying transfers. It'll also give me a chance to put on um, the Assault Marine Insignia. But yeah, so these guys are done for now. Um, I'll probably go back and touch them up once my whole army is finished, well my thousand points is finished. Um, and then next up is going to be the Terminators. Okay, so you don't get a choice in this matter. You told me you want Terminators, you're getting Terminators. And then following that I will give you an option. And there's going to be two options following, well three, uh, no two options following that. Because one of those three is still being built and I'm waiting on parts in America. So, as usual, usual stuff. Leave some comments. Feedback is feedback is brilliant. I always enjoy it. If it's good or bad, I don't mind. Um, obviously, if it's not constructive, I probably won't reply. Um, if it is constructive, bang on. I'll even put you out there and say about it. Um, also, get um, get anyone who's interested in pre-heresy to subscribe. Anyone who's interested in power armor to subscribe. Because I've got another project on the go later on. Um, probably in the new year. It will be in the new year. Um, for my Bad Ab Wars car Caradons, I did pick up the Space Marine Megaforce from my local games workshop, supporting those guys, and um, yeah, which is all good, which is all good, and I'm looking forward to that. So, once again, cheers for watching, uh, cheers for all the ads, cheers for all the likes, and I'll see you soon guys, have a great day, and keep on watching, so see you later, bye bye.